So when making a game, your resolution, its aspect ratio, and its relationship to the screen size is an important thing that should be taken into account early on. During my card games development, knowing how big the cards and sprites were going to be was an issue that I faced. I didn't really understand what things like resolution or aspect ratios were. And while looking on YouTube, there weren't any videos that fully explained the concepts. So in this video, I'll be going over resolution, aspect ratio, scaling, and screen sizes in Godot. So the best way for me to explain these concepts is through an analogy. Let's say I have a picture that is 10 pixels by 10 pixels. Then I want to display that picture onto a screen that is 70 pixels by 50 pixels. When I do so, each pixel is going to stretch and take up 5 pixels on the big screen. So one pixel in resolution is going to equal 5 pixels on the screen. This is called upscale. The 10 by 10 image will be upscaled to be 50 by 50 and the leftover 20 pixels will be appear as black borders on either side of the screen. So the smaller picture here is your game resolution, and the big picture here would be your actual window size. Resolution is the actual size of your game, and it is upscaled to create a bigger version when it's displayed on the screen. The aspect ratio is the ratio between the width of your resolution to the height of your resolution. So for example, a common resolution is 640 pixels by 360 pixels, which would have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. It is often used in game development because most screens nowadays have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 as well. So ideally, you want your game to have the same aspect ratio as most screens do, so that when it's upscaled, there's as little black borders around the screen as possible. Okay, now let's head into Godot for an example. If we first look at the project settings, right here, we can see that the viewport size is 1152 by 648, and that the stretch mode is disabled. If we run the game like this without making any changes, we can see that if I move the borders, this sprite is no longer centered. And this is not only difficult to work with, but it's also just really weird. So what we wanna do is that we wanna fix this through resolution and upscaling. So first, we need to choose a resolution. For me, I'll use 640 by 360. As I explained before, it is one of the most commonly used resolutions. Uh, it has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And if you're making your own game, I will recommend this as well. So what you do here is that you need to set the viewport width and set the viewport height to be the resolution that you want. So for me, it is 640 by 360. And then if you go down here to the, to the stretch mode, you can see two options canvas items, and viewport. So for this video, we'll use canvas items, and I'll explain what the difference is in a later video. So when we close this and then we save, if I run the game now, you can see that the window is much smaller. However, if I stretch it, you can see that the pixels would um, upscale to fit the new window size, and that the Godot icon has been upscaled as well. Okay, now we can test this with a different resolution. So let's use 400 by 400. This is an aspect ratio of 1 to 1. So let's save the game and then run it. You can see that if I expand this window, there's more black borders. Now the reason why is because um, the 1 to 1 ratio doesn't fit as well to the aspect ratio of my screen. And that, then there you have it. That is all about resolutions, aspect ratio, and screen sizes in the dough. So leave a comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe to my please subscribe to support my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.